Hello and welcome to the channel. As we discussed previously on our Reddit thread, we're doing a couple more tests here with the laser antennas. Now we've removed all the regular antennas from this map. First here you'll see that we have one laser antenna from the station here connecting to the bottom of our red ship. Now that of course remains our single point of contact with the red ship. Now from the red ship, however, on the top, we have another laser antenna that connects to the mining craft, which has a remote control put on it. Now you'll notice that I've put two laser antennas on the mining craft. Now I have noticed here in testing that after a while of not connecting, the one antenna will default to the reset position and not try to connect again. I don't actually have the time as yet. I will time that and upload that at a later date. Now, what I've been testing with it is to see if using the two antenna system we can maintain control of this craft remotely. As you see as we rotate and break away, we lose that connection and that is when it resets. This one will connect. We'll rotate again. We see it defaults back to just one antenna trying to maintain connection. So unfortunately that means that remote controlling craft while maneuvering will not be a very profitable idea. It's not really going to maintain that connection. Now of course alternatively you can put one on the rear section and that would give you a bit more field of control. But of course the big question is going through two different antennas, can we actually control it? Now, as you'll see here in the drop-down list, we can, of course. Now, you'll see two duplicates because I actually have a completely different setup on another copy of it up in the front. So let's see which one this is here. Good, this is the one we wanted. As you can see, we can control the craft itself, maneuver it, Unfortunately, we will lose that signal in the rotation, and it will drift until the dampener stop, of course. Now, as for the other duplicate, what we have here is two antennas on the craft and on the rear sections here, each one aiming at a separate antenna. So one goes to the top, the other one goes to the bottom. Now, we don't need to relay through the base for this, so we'll hop in over here. And we're going to test to see if this will help maintain that connection. Sorry, they actually selected the wrong craft to control. Alright, sorry about that, we had a bit of a hiccup in our system here. So, we have control of the craft at the rear, with one antenna aiming to each antenna on the craft. And what we'll do is we'll rotate. As you can see, it does maintain a connection up until you get some good speed built up, at which point it will not be able to track. So let's take a look at our antennas. Neither of them have signal at this point. They are just outside of their connection range. Alright. Now lastly, what we have to check is controlling turrets remotely. As you can see, we can remote connect to the large craft and control the turret. And it operates just as if you were on the ship. So 
So what we have there in conclusion is that you cannot use two antennas to maintain a stable connection with maneuverability for fighters or mining craft or really any small craft. You're pretty much going to be limited to that single point of connection. You can, however, control turrets remotely, so you could set up uh, defensive networks, basically cannon batteries, missile batteries, and surrounding smaller asteroids. Remote connect to them through previously established networks and use them to attack any assaulting ship from the flanks or just generally a surprise area to begin with. Alright, hope that was informative for you, and as always, have a good day.